He has got at least uh, some grenade sip to try and buy some time, but I don't think this is going to be quick, it looks like. Means that Molotov could actually be used for C Connector instead. They're going to be going right down there. Sip setting himself up for a bit of a flashbang. There's the grenade coming in. Sip gets a kill and a good follow-up. Not really headshots, just spamming away that USP, but good for two kills. And now looking for a third. Simple will shut him down, but that's long range. The P250 down on the ground. And the, the, the aggression, the kills from Zipnix forced Simple to get aggressive and try and find more kills. That brought him out into the open for the elimination, and that's the bomb on the floor. This pistol round is surely going to go the way of Astral. A Sclave to close it out. One to nothing. No plant, no second round buy, so it's uh, just Glocks and the Deagle on Simple. Oh, that was a cute attempt. That was the, uh, the newcomer. I appreciate that. Trying to make a name for yourself. Why not? The Zeus Master. No one's taken that mantle quite yet. Shamefully so, I mean... Maybe Tarek? Maybe Tarek. Well, there are a couple of players out there that uh, that will show something every once in a while. Simple crouching him with the D- Oh, he lands a follow-up headshot taking down Magus. Not great. Yeah, the thing that makes this very rough is the armor that they're lacking, but somehow that doesn't even matter. The MP9 comes in, they swap that out for a... Uh, for an M4 now, and Electronic, he's got the hell for it. It's a very awkward round indeed. But again, just remember that armor could... Oh! Forget about the armor! Sip goes down, simple with another kill. Three of them, all headshots with the Deagle. That is why we just keep mentioning his name time and time again, and the M4 will end it. Oh, they have a lot of yard control. The bomb is still back there, so they're just trying to clear the path to people. Blindly shooting through, and Simple will go down. That was Magus picking that one up. I'm not sure what he could actually see. Glaive sneaking through, but Factor on the other side, but he's alone right here. He needs some backup or someone to throw a grenade for him, or he might get spammed down eventually. Magus on the one side. That's smoke. Ooh, Device will take a kill, but he's waiting for it. That actually wasn't smoke at all, so he can still see. Bombs down so far back as well. I think these ops are going to start chewing up Navi. Perfecto, no idea. Still easy shot for Magus. And now he can just lie and wait. Force Perfecto to commit and another kill. See that on oh, Boomy. He, he definitely did. Fair bit of damage device though. That's a way to do it over at Ivy. Two kills with the AWP to begin with. And now they definitely should fall back Astralis. No point in giving them more fights when you've already done this well. In fact, Device is just doubling down on the aggression and Boomit showing up again, range with the CC. He's got no chance at all. This one, uh, this round kind of fizzles away slowly. Maybe the only danger right now is if Glaive goes down at back Ivy. That could be, that could be really worrisome because then Magus is kind of in the middle of nowhere out there, but oh, it's Magus instead. Electronic to find the opening kill. That's a strong way to get started. Still 50 seconds on the clock. A little bit low on health and the spam through, or Glaive will catch it. That's some very fortunate timing, but now they have to go. They know they've got to hit it right now because more backup shows up. Under 40 seconds as they try and make their way through. And Dupree just checking. Going to be a bit of confirmation from Sip. Glaive is ready for it, and Perfecto, not a chance there. 30 seconds on the clock, and they're kind of spread out and locked down here, Navi. They need to break into this bomb site, and Flamey will get them one, but Dupree, now he's got at least one locked in, and Boomy just got the bomb all the way at the back of the bomb site. 20 seconds on the clock. They need to move right now, and Symbol might have given them the opening that they need. Device he wants to fall back and play for it instead. Oh, they don't actually go for the bomb plant, and that might be a problem. Dupree counting the seconds here, not trying to stop the bomb. I thought maybe he would have in Instead, it's oh. Device sneaking in with the AWP. What a play! And leg shot comes through from Simple. He needed that kill immediately. He knows Dupree's already out around the corner. Simple in a one versus two, and he's not going to get the chance. Dupree will take him right out. A great round for Dupree. Looks like they want to try and double drop Dupree. He's pretty close range. That actually could be a little bit scary. They land right on top, and he does a lot in return. But three players still defending outside because the op on Device is pushed towards upper ramp. They have all the information of what's coming. Magus, a tough angle and he's got the first boomage on the board as well but what a flick and glaive still adding on as well time for electronic to get involved yeah but how does he do that glaive is right here waiting for him and he's still gonna win the fight a huge double coming in dropping magus and then the turnaround and now device 18 seconds and the bomb will be going down electronic hiding at a very strange off angle and now device can't even really unscope or he'll give the whole round away here so he's got to stay scope looking in or they'll definitely hear it very tough indeed he's trying to check that corner he's not quite right oh, he's got the right idea but doesn't want to commit to it and with a deagle out yeah that the kind of setup that they've had so far, that's what you dream of when you buy the double up, and it doesn't always work out that way. Ooh, flashbang in, and it could have been the UMP, but instead it's a quick shot and a quick trade up to the creek. 
And Sip playing close again. He's been really good in this B-bomb zone. I have to imagine this is going to be a fake towards inside, a drop down the ladder because Perfecto and Boomage still ready to pounce. Actually, they're going to send Flamey in. They're going to see if he can just find one kill. He's not too committed. Now he's fully committed and he gets nothing. Three versus five, but the rotation is in. Astralis got lured pretty far away, which gave space to Boomich. He's the next one to make a play. Perfecto, shoulder peeking, not expecting to pre, but he recovers well. And all of a sudden, the outer bomb site is cracked open. That's a very important kill for Magus right now. 18 seconds, and they're going to go straight for the bomb. Pl oh, the grenade! He was shot up. They were shooting under the actual carriage, so Simple had to move out of the way. And once he did, the grenade caught him eight seconds, and Boomage, what could you even do at this point in time? He's looking for the bomb. He's finally picked it up, and he's out of time. There's nothing to do. Ten rounds for Astralis here at the end of the first half. Utility on Electronic, there's no kits on the CT side. Boomich gonna go for the fight, he's got one, can't transfer over. Still three players at range out at this bomb site. I thought he would have got nothing from that fight. It looked like he was, oh, my. that's really dirty Electronic. He must have just been able to see an outline around that. Perfecto falling back and trying to play it safe, and he should as well. There's no point in going down right now. They've got the four versus three glaive though is actually sneaking in on this side now if there's enough of a distraction if he could find a kill that would help out astralis so much and they're kind of banking on it oh there it is the headshot from the clock to take it out and suddenly they could try and pinch this bomb side a little bit well, this is scary. Well, they could also try and pitch towards inner if Glaive wants to make his way. It looked like he wanted, he had the idea. Perfecto taking a shot. He just spots the one inside. New angle. Out in the open is Dupree, and he still wins the fight straight up. Zip waiting in ladder room. That's the bomb spotted as well. He needs to back away and join up with Dupree towards the B site. And Dupree is just holding on like a champ. Like the champion that he is. And Dupree buying so much time. And actually, they've just gone right back outside. Flamey has no <laughs> chance. He's been juked. I can't believe it. Yeah, that's... I mean, that's obviously Dupree individually playing well, but then the, const the constant switching around. They saw the bomb over at Ivy, they saw Sip falling back, and as Dupree's holding it because they want to rotate in, yeah. Dupree just says, that's fine, they're all here, let's go back to A instead. That's... Yeah, you're going to feel really outplayed. Oh, yeah. So outplayed that you don't even, you don't even go for it. You just, you just hang out at the inner bomb site, try and preserve the armor. Dupree's going to be on the hunt. What a uh, what a nice round for Dupree, who didn't had a pretty stressful first half in that ladder room. He was Zeus. He was he was had a couple awkward deaths. Yeah, put those put that taser um, on you, and suddenly it's, life is no longer fun, is it? Ooh. Chance here for Dupree to close it out. He's got a bit of range. Instead, it's Flamey to at least get a bit of revenge. Perfecto and simple inside of the bomb site. Looks like it's going to be a very, very quick hit here from Charlotte. No delay at all. They just go straight for it, running past the Molotov and running down Perfecto. And simple, well, he got the shot off, but Glaive was there to trade it from the high ground. And that's a very decisive hit for Astral. It's not quite done yet. An important kill there for Electronic, but the bomb is going to be planted right away. And now it's a three on three. It's a nice Molotov to force Sipnix off the bomb spot, but there's no one there to punish it. Boomich has been spotted. That's a big kill on the flank, but Zip is going to come close the gap, and he's got it. He's all alone. One versus two. He's got no Molotov, and he might just have to commit down this lower ramp, and that would be exactly what Navi wanted. If they don't have any grenades either, though, so they're going to be really careful. Immediate kill. Electronic, not as careful as you'd like. And now the problem is that flashbang could really set it up. Flamey, how does he do this? He picked up an AW. He takes him down. That's a critical kill. Turning around for it. No defuse kit either. So if he hadn't got that kill pretty much in that second, then it would have been too late. You just hear it clicking off. It's going to be down to the last millisecond, but it will work out. I mean, the, the thing is, it, 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 they don't have to increase it that much more. They just need rounds like these. Boomich with a kill, Flamey with one or two. That's all they need. There's nothing crazy. That simple electronic keep doing what they're doing. We're not asking for the rest of the team to play like electronic and simple That's not even the requirement. Dupree looking for an opening, but it'll be device instead. Look how much free space, free real estate they're getting though. Navi never Ooh. had this much comfort pushing down these train lanes. They have no eyes on this at the moment. Flamey's getting into position. He knows where one is. That has to be a kill. That one definitely is. Molotov's gonna rein in, trying to force him out, but they won't spread. The fire will not damage him and force him into the open. And Simple is still waiting for his chance. Oh, and Flamey, I actually like that idea. He was trying to see if he could maybe get one back on them. Spotted out with the AWP up there. Device, he knows, and he wants to go for the fight. He's ready for it. Nearly getting that, but perfect. And they line up for seven. <laughs> Unbelievable timing. That was in my mind, Jason. I had to get it out. Yep.
Just had to say it to get rid of it. Stalking Deleg. <laughs> Magus King Glaver pushing down Ivy. Electronic is right on the other side. He's counting the seconds. He just wants that smoke to phase so he can get a kill. He's been doing this all game. He's become a bit of a champion hiding inside of that smoke, and it's really working out for him. But on the other side, Perfecto and Flamey have to stay alive. Getting these first two kills from Electronic is amazing, but if this B def is on hold, it doesn't really matter. There's Perfecto going down, and now the question is Flamey. Is he going to be brave enough to flank around? He's looking for the kill, but up on the high ground, Sip is right up there and he'll take him down and is ready for more of a fight. A two on three now and a last chance for Na'Vi to continue on train. No kit as well. This is going to have to be quick. There's a real chance here, especially with Device. That AWP perching towards Long. He's covering his teammate perfectly. Zip and Device can do so much work. That's the first. And now it's Device's turn. Oh, and he just looked away. But he had the opportunity. He saw it out. Now, Blue Mitch is coming in from the other side. This is very rough. There are no grenades. No time. Yeah, they might be out of time already. Sip goes down. But again, it might not even matter. He's straight on the Ooh. bomb. But I don't know. This is going to be almost impossible, isn't it? You hear it already ticking away. One defuse kit, and they would have had another round, but it might be too late. And indeed, it is 16 rounds for Astralis as they take down Navi on train. Yeah, I look forward to seeing that. It's definitely interesting, but Astralis, they're so good on the T side as well. Do not underestimate them. And we're live in the game, and they have got a lot of smokes on that T side. Blowing up the door, throwing in a flashbang and a smoke to get down. And they've got two people and Glaive with a headshot. That is such a huge amount of success. Now, Simple did flank around to take down Glaive. That's not bad, but popping open the door. And Dupree will take the fight. Perfecto there. But the bomb, oh, they actually come off it. I think he almost wanted to do it immediately, Sip, but he waits. He did, but he was the only one in the bomb site and that's a great follow-up kill from simple but device is lying in wait and he simple's got another one a third player coming to challenge and simple's ready for that as well device is kind of working the ramp at the same time and that's where flamey is holding with one of those mp9s magus is paired up with him as well so yeah flamey's gonna have a task he'll have to drop down if he has contact he's got no support coming so that's a tough fight big win for electronic and there goes flamey to the lower bomb site Oh, there's the pressure put on simple rotating in that's one of the orgs gone or the the orc that they had and this is a bigger problem now 50 seconds on the clock and flamey in a position but again that medium range for the mp9 it's not exactly great they'll get the one and it actually turns around what a great job from flamey that could have been nothing at all instead it's a two on two and plenty of health there on the on the Estrella side, which is a bit of an issue. We nearly caught that Dupree now. Is the timing going to be against him? He's kind of looking the wrong way, and Perfecto will take him down. That is some unfortunate timing. And Magus now in a one versus two. He knows where both of them are, though. They at least have the information to call that out. So Magus going to get aggressive towards the window. He's going to peek. He's going to find that kill. The pounce needs to be right now. And Perfecto not expecting Magus to be posted up. They, they need some early kills with the with the pistols here. Or it's not going to be a, a round that's even really worth talking about. I don't even know what Navi. I mean, at this point in time, you're you're hoping that someone at a corner with that CC could get into a series of fights. Electronic will take one. It's an important that he's not traded as well. He brings it into yeah. a four on four. That could have been a big thing for Astralis to get. You can see they're keeping some range between them because they have the rifles. And I mean, this is where it gets even dicier. If they make their way all the way up to heaven, how do you really defend against that with just the CZs? Aggression in towards lobby. They found one. They can salvage that weapon. Well, now it's very interesting, not just because of the advantage, but the time that's oh, left. Flamey. 28 seconds. You're right. He's still hiding in that corner with the Deagle. They do check for it, but an instant headshot to take one down. They'll get it, but only 20 seconds on the clock. They can't really afford to be slowed down now. Now, that's a heads up peak from play. That's that's so well uh, done. They spotted him on the jump. Perfecto had no idea he was spotted. I don't think he would have held that angle, but the door is open. Boomich has got to be careful behind him. It's all down to timing. They know where he is as well. And now oh, he got that with the jump. Glaive's going to try and plant this bomb. There's no time. They just need to survive, and Boomich has got that as well. They have to know. Surely they see that device. Maybe he does it. Maybe he didn't realize it quite yet, but he found out in the end. But um, now... I don't know, a lot of this has been red, I think. He's got to let his teammates do the work from here. What a good kill to find. Glaive is wreaking so much havoc. This defense has no idea where the hit's going to come in. Flamey's going to be tested. That's the bomb down. He's going to try and get away, and he's just barely going to do it. Around the corner, but Glaive's still lurking. He's thinking about it. Electronic should have every chance to win this fight. He's read that so well. And Flamey standing tall with the M4. Make us down to 9 health and under 30 seconds. Yeah, they are playing this really well right now, Navi. In spite of Glaive, actually... I don't know, playing better than you would have expected out on the yard. He's going to be going down, no chance, even for a bomb pond. Well, bad when he does it. When Glaive does it, we praise him. We'll see what Electronic can deliver. This kind of a play is all about what you provide your team. There's the shadow, but Glaive ducks right beneath the shot. 
Flash to set it up and simple. Not going to take the chance there, but now he's actually slightly exposed. He might want to try and get out of this position. I'm sure if he's realizing yet, Boomage going down and simple. He's going to get the kill, but Glaive is right there behind him to punish him. If that's, I don't know, the A-yard defense crumbling for Na'Vi. Still a 2-1-3. Chance to recover. But no one has moved downstairs just yet. They don't have the information, and this is going to be a plant. And actually, I mean, even in a two-on-three, might be a scenario. Flamey and Perfecto save the weapons, preserve the economy. Flamey's only got 600. Electronic down at 1,300. Yeah. Three Kriegs, two AKs. AWP still in Stimple's hands. And this time, it's going to be towards Flamey. They're going to test him again. He's standing tall on this map. So far, and once again, he's got a first kill, massive amounts of damage, and Simple's gonna finish off Dupree. Gonna have a tough task, stepping in front of that smoke to check for information. Bomb does go down, but Magus now has to get in some kind of safety. Simple, there's the door open. Oh, and he can't find him quick enough. And an awkward angle now in towards the door. Boomich is in some trouble, and he doesn't know it yet. They still have some smokes on the Molotov here on the Na'Vi side. They could do a lot to try and force them out. That actually does nothing. No one's hiding in there. So, so far, some of the grenades just missing a little bit. And Chance, but Magus will go down. And now it's Glaive. One versus three. He has a Molotov of his own. If they are not careful, could be a little bit of an issue there. He tries to throw. I think it went way too far. There should be no problems in the defuse. And that's going to be another round for Na'Vi. Seven to two. If they could steal a an awkward round here. That would be a good way to get started on <laughs> this device. Flamey, he wasn't expecting that. Simple, over-rotating, really way too committed to that fight. A double opening for the device, and that's a big problem. He's ready for more. If Electronic opens the door, he might go down, but actually he catches the device at a really good time, and he'll follow it up with the bomb going down. Electronic, he's a hero right now for Na'Vi. He wants more, and finally he'll be brought to an end. Boomage. that's a scary fight. The smoke, though, he almost has to do something, or his teammates will be alone for a long time. This is tough. Perfecto going to come in for the flank, and but if, if Boomich can't get there, there's no point in Perfecto even moving in. Boomich going to head. He's going to evacuate that fight at ramp room, heading down the vents. It's a lot of time, though, and a lot of noise, and Astralis has this information. As you mentioned, money not great for the Na'Vi side, and they're still going to go for it. He wanted to do the spam like he did earlier to Device, so he's trying for that same thing. From us, MP9, AWP on Simple. That is always worth talking about. And looks like they might try and challenge him. And that was at least a mistake from Glaze's point of view. He was ready for that one. I can't believe he caught that. That looked like Glaze was going to get around the corner, but just barely picks him off. But again, one player has slid past. And look at the hold from Zip. He's already out. Squeaky Door. Perfecto has no idea just yet. He's so close. Electronic is going to save the day. And that takes the attention away from Perfecto in the site. He's there, but he hasn't had to do anything yet because of his teammates. Yeah, Simple came in from the high ground helping him out. Otherwise, I think he was also about to get flanked anyway. So time, really well timing here for Na'Vi in terms of when they were taking some of these fights. Leaving Device in a one versus four. That, that could have been a disaster. Even Magus walking out third after like both of his teammates got all the way to the bomb site with no resistance and then Perfecto pounces and he's got to be wondering why he's the unfortunate one to not have that space to work with. Device in a one versus four, now spotted out, but obviously not a great fight for the SMG. No, but just, you know, annoyance obviously getting found out, not even getting the element of surprise here. To do a little bit of damage, not going to be relevant. Simple will take him down, third kill of the round for him. AWP and Device's hands on the offense. I think this is the first time we've seen the off on the T side here on Nuke. And we'll see if it catches anyone off guard. He's burning. Good damage from Boomich and the cleanup from the Molotov. At least getting close, but yeah, he's gonna turn, he's just gonna make a left into the smoke, and that's a problem for Electronic. He's about to be in a lot of trouble here. He gets the one. I can't believe he's still alive. Glaive will open it up, but Electronic now with the Molotov out. He's buying so much time, and Boomich showing up. And Electronic, he goes down eventually, but he just bought so much time for his team. A simple drop in the bomb. Here's 10 rounds for Na'Vi at the end of the half. 10 to 5 lead. Na'Vi needs six rounds to bring this into a third map. Now is the time for it. They're going quick out into the yard. A little bit of a staggered push, so they don't group up on top of each other. But Magus, a double headshot will give a chance here for Astralis to still bring it back. It's a three on three. Doing a little bit to try and see if he can do it. But oh, Glaive going down. That's a great headshot for Perfecto. Sip will take another one. Still a two on two, and it's still doable for Navi. They could maybe win it, but Sip running right onto the site, and Electronic will go down. There's that wall to get the secret. Device is going to peek up. Nobody looking. That's one Deagle down. Big win for Electronic. Put the hot hand in the trade position. Probably not really necessary for Device to keep fighting that. 
I guess that's just one of those, you know, flex kind of plays. We just we really, really want to show that you've got a Dupree. He's been sneaking through the smoke, and that's that's actually a disgusting play. Now, Simple will take down Magus, so can this play be put into play? Dupree can't just run. They'll hear him if he does, so he's going to be sticking around instead, trying to call it out. Glaive and Sib on the other side. Molotov to buy some time, and that actually, that Molotov is amazing. 18 seconds left. Simple and Flamey still fighting back, and they'll get it right back. Flamey will burn Dupree. But 11 to 6 now, Nuke is getting interesting. Yeah, it's getting it's getting to a strange point right now. Simple taking down the vice outside. Again, they just have pistols, but yeah, what a strong start for Navi in this map. Inferno to decide it if it gets to it. We all love that. Oh, oh good shot from Glaive coming up in the stairs. Smoke to delay even longer. And Boomich knows exactly where Zipnix is. Now there is Magus sneaking up right where Glaive just came from. So yeah, he's sneaking a kill on Electronic. That's kind of cool because it's almost like Glaive was ready to sacrifice himself to just sell that uh, that idea. Boomich going down a sip. Oh, that's a big fight for Flamey. Simple's gonna get into the upper bomb site. They've caused enough of a distraction to open this up. Somehow wow. Navi have gotten in this position without really taking a whole lot of fights. And that's Ooh. a big find for Zip. Long range with the Mac 10, but the headshot did it. Flamey, HE up there, Sip. Oh, he's gonna explode! He actually got that. This could get very interesting. A double kill for Flamey. Both players now left with just one, uh, basically one bullet's worth of health left. No and he's got the idea. Flamey will get it. A triple for him. Outside spotted, 35 seconds and a strong kill for Dupree. Falling back, buying more time. And time is there. You said what Navi just don't have right now. They're getting a couple of kills in return, but Sip is still down here waiting. And are they going to actually have time to go for it now? Perfecto's got the bomb and they need to Classic make a move. Navi. It really is, isn't it? The one thing you don't want to see right now. They have to make this work. They're playing around with the door at the moment. 15 seconds on the clock and Sip, he's surely calling it in now. They jump through the bomb. It's on the floor and Sip, oh! He's going to come up with a big double kill. Can he get there in Seven time? Seven seconds left and I don't know. The bomb is not picked up. No, they're going to run out of time. They just cannot do it. Oh, dear. Spend some time this time clearing out the lower part of the map. Ooh, but Boomich going down to Device on the Orc. Device is actually about to flank them. If they spend another, you know, 10 seconds here, Device is probably going to be walking up behind them pretty quickly. Flamey would have been the catch Device almost, but he's not quite ready. Now they're out in the bomb site. Sip is down there, ready and waiting. 30 seconds on the clock, and they're going to go straight for the bomb plant. But they don't expect Sip, and he almost could have lined up that double kill. Quick reaction from Electronic will take him down. With the bomb plants it now, and they walk right in. Device not ready for it. Huge double kill coming out from Electronic. And now four versus three, the bomb ticking away. Make is getting a kill, but the returns are there, and Flamey actually oh. stopping that, and a beautiful headshot to take them down. It's not even inching anywhere at the moment, which is fine. I mean, there's still a minute and 15 seconds, so... Everyone just holding on to utility. Now it's coming out. A deep diagonal smoke wall to allow Navi to get close up towards Mini. They can do a lot with this. A little bit of damage goes out onto Electronic, who's been the strong player for Navi. Exchanged right back to Glaive, who's lucky to be alive, but I don't know if they'll expect this is a pretty nasty off angle around the edge of the smoke. Electronic isn't gonna look. Some missed shots though, and boom it, he drops down. Double kill for device. And they still cannot take him out. Oh dear, they need this. I mean, they finally get it, but now the problem is the time that they spent, it wasn't a big problem before, but when they lose those opening fights, suddenly they have to be really scared. And look at that line that he's holding with the scout. Almost getting that tag, and if, if he had it, that actually would be a disaster. Still a three on four right now but they need to get into a bomb site. 25 seconds and the bomb is still in yard now. Finally making his way into mini and they do get oh. a bit of an opening, but the priest there with the return and now the scout is up on high as well. The flashbangs are in and they're doing so much damage. Navi, they need to close this game out right now, but I don't think it's going to be possible in this round. Eight seconds left and Simple going straight for the bomb plant, but they're already on top of him and that was the time that was left. Glaive just surviving on two health is all they need. Suddenly you start to wonder about that round. You're like, oh man, we had the chance at that now. round, the one where the time ran out, but I like this from Electronic. He's going to try and take it right back. An awkward fight in the open space and oh, he just loses it. Good peek from Device, but the follow-up, two kills for Simple and Flamey. And now Simple's pressuring into the bomb site. But he doesn't actually know about this corner. Dupree could maybe find the right timing instead of Simple <laughs> executing him. Oh, and they might very well win this round. Sip jumping down to the low ground, taking a lot of damage, and he is done. 15 on the board for Na'Vi. They won three in a row, and then that's, that's more or less it on that first half, this right? This timing on that push is insane. <laughs>
Oh my god, Electronic. If they lose this round, Navi, again, their money is going to be miserable. And, you know, at 59, that's so within striking distance. They need to go right now and finish this game right here. Meg is taking down another one. It's five on three. I don't know how much more of this I can handle. 30 seconds on the clock. And yeah, they need to move. And they're running into a hugely stacked bomb site. They're all here. The bomb actually trying to make its way down, seeing if they could find a way. Boomich will get a kill on Dupree. And at least they're down. 18 seconds. And now. Can they actually find a way to put that bomb down and get a little bit of pressure back on now? Instead, it's Boomich dropping. Simple waiting. Perfecto getting a kill and taking down device. Eight seconds. Play, he play. opens the door and he finds it. Five seconds. I'm not sure if Simple can even run here close enough one more time. Oh, it's hard to watch. One Krieg. I mean, again, it's a little bit of a prayer for them. But it's on simple. It's on simple. So that, the prayer seems a bit more likely. He's got some kind of direct, you know, line of God. Just any time he wants. Boomich oh. will be the one to do it. And that's where the clock taking down Magus. And there's simple following it up. Now V having a little bit of luck in this round. The bomb, they need a quick bomb plant here. And that's beautiful grenade landing right on top. Oh, but no. is it actually going to matter? Two versus three. And Sip jumping down with the scout. He's point blank range, not using the pistol. And that might be it. A one versus three. Bomb is going down on the other side. Even as device does get the kill. They might have found a way here, Navi. He's trying his best. But this is a USP. <laughs> and they run away. Now he's in trouble. No. Down behind. He's looking for it. No armor on Perfecto. But he still gets it done. 16 to nine. And Navi take us. To map number three. Oh, that feels like justice, doesn't it? They brought it back. Listen, it doesn't matter if it's pretty, if it's ugly. Looks like Navi are now leaning back, and Astralis don't know yet. They've fallen back from that top banana position, so there's a window here for Navi to actually use that and just try and hit this bomb site before more people show up. Smoke going deep to block off on the one side, and they're going to wrap around quad, so they just don't want to fight there for the minute. Dupree down. Oh, actually, it's device instead. Two big headshots to slow them down. Dupree still waiting oh in graveyard. God. He's going to stand up, just popping out of the box, oh. and he lands one more. Oh. Oh, that's disgusting! Taking down another one, Dupree, with a beautiful triple. I'm guessing if he called for something else, they would have given it to him. So maybe he's just saying, you know what, I've got this. Oh, boom, and she's so flashed. Yeah, right now trying to get some control in the middle, but grenades are raining in, doing more damage. Dupree still right by Arch, so they have a pretty good read on this. Electronic hiding inside of the smoke, which has just been his theme pretty much throughout this whole series. Charging through and taking down Dupree. He's been so good at playing inside of it. Let's see if Magus could do anything here. He's going to be close range with the MP9, and he'll win that fight immediately, but taken down by Perfecto, leaving alone in the pit. Device backup is coming, but I don't think it'll get there in time. He has to get at least a kill to buy a little bit more time. 20 seconds, and they're closing in, and this is an uncomfortable range for the MP9. Flamey right on top, almost stomping on his head as the bomb goes down, and it's now a two-on-two, -two. and Flamey, he's got that great crossfire with Simple. How do they get through this one, Astralis? They have a single flashbang, but I don't know. As soon as they step on that line, they're going to be in the field of fire of both these players. And Simple not even waiting for it. Not even allowing them any space. Glaive now in a one versus two with the UMP. And this should be impossible. He's trying to just find one fight without exposing himself. He's going to take down Flamey and Simple's on the other side. He's got the head armor and that UMP not shooting through that pillar at all. Now the Deagle's out instead and he goes down. Simple will take care of business. But again, you got to say for this attack on Na'Vi, Electronic opens everything with that kill on Glaive. As a legendary analyst and coach once said, uh, Yanko, it's a thin line between teamwork and baiting, so... It's, there's a lot of truth to it. As, it's, yeah. as silly as it sounds. No, that's why it's so good. I love it. Ooh, that's simple taking some liberties. Flamey trades him off. And that shotgun's gonna sink back into a range that's not that effective. And this is Navi just getting picked apart one by one. Not a whole lot of teamwork coming out at the moment. Magus along the wall. It's Goosh. There's the shotgun. Perfecto has to win this, but he just can't. He just can't do it. And it's the only one left. Flamey is traded. And Astralis is right back. Yeah, you will have a hard time doing that. Device is gonna get smoked out, and he'll just try and see if he get lucky as they come wrapping around with 30 seconds. But as you said, two in pit is hard to check for. They've just found the one, but how do they do with the rest here? 25 seconds, and that's the bomb. Oh, he's trying for that spray. That's actually... Oh, oh. God, Dupree! He was ready for it! 
Grenade lands on top, but it's not going to be enough. The bomb will get planted, but still, Simple and Perfecto, look at their positions. They're way out in the open. How do they find a way to win this? You don't. They have no cover to go eliminate Dupree, and now the Flames is going to force Perfecto into the open. This is so awkward for the young player. Force into the one safe spot that he has, but that's going to get pre-aimed and pre-fired. He's got one. Simple still not yet into the action, and he's got to take risks. There's the first. He knows exactly where Zip is. He knows he's cornered as well, and he can't find it. Zipix so. is on the way back right now to the B bomb site, so I'm wondering if Glaive is going to toss this out right now. Flashbang, and they're just going to go right through it. That's a perfect counter flash, but there's no smoke for CT spawn. I don't know if it missed, but Zip is going to rain down death from a four, but he's missed his shots. That's tough to deal with. Boomich down low. That's going to be frustrating. Ooh. What a great shot from Flamey. Leaving Maze dead on the other side. Bomb is going to be glanted right now. Right, the pre is at least going to be called in, but Sip, he can still do some damage here with that AK-47. One of them low on health, and he's going to try and check for it. Not quite. He's actually covered behind the fountain. I think now he found out, but he still gets dinked. That's pretty good for Boomich, actually, and that boost up behind, and Simple would clean up the round. Well, push right through the smoke. Electronic happy to take that fight. Not enough flashbangs behind to make that even interesting, though. Flame is here, and Megas turns around, flashed in, and he's immediately gone. It's a lot of pellets right Ooh, to the chest. I like this. I like this aggression so much. Simple has no idea he's been there. Neither does Perfecto. Magus can make a huge play. He can save and turn this round for Astralis. This is so massive. If Device has the information or delays them just a little bit, Magus is going to pounce. And the bomb is there as well. Boomich, he's going to go down, and now it's revealed. Oh, device, he wants to turn the corner on the other side while they're all looking. He shows a little bit of hip, I think, and has to fall back. But yeah, they've got to be under a lot of pressure. Simple snuck in. Nice. He's right behind Clave. Definitely go for it. Now's the time to do it. He's just backing up. And, you know, they was in his personal space at that point in time. You know yeah, how didn't it is. like that. It feels uncomfortable. Yeah. Perfecto. Ooh. Knows. Dude, they know Magus is somewhere in alt mid. Surely, surely Electronic clears this. He definitely will now. But Simple's got him first. Device, it's his turn for the peak. This is actually scary. They're whittling them down, and it's all on zip. Oh, I mean, surely they check this. 5-7 in the hands, and that's a great range for it. He gets the immediate kill now. Going to put up the smoke and just try and buy time. 25 seconds. He's actually up on the sandbags. And Simple is just going to say, you know what? I need this bomb palm before we can even continue this fight. And he will get it somehow. A one versus two now with the bomb down. And Simple with a chance to really save his team here. The Krieg has been picked up on the other side. That smoke is doing a little bit now, and Simple... He'll fall all the way back here, but once they know where he is, they've got a little bit of time. Obviously, no defuse kit on either Astralis player, and Simple is ready. He wants that straight headshot to close this into a one-on-one, -on -one, and then he can buy time, and there it is. What a flick to come through. Oh, it's another one! Quad kill to take them down! He's been doing a pretty good job. We saw him lurk with the Deagle earlier to find one kill. That's a big frag from Glaive. But um, ducking right under. Molotov actually to force him almost into a fight. Perfecto going down. That's a pretty nice flip there. And he sees simple and continues. He actually walked into that bullet, I think. So from Navi's point of view, this is a little bit unfortunate because they were on a pretty good run here. But perfect round from Astralis. Nobody going down. Going to take an aggressive fight. He's got the first glaive. Going to try and play around the smoke. I think Simple knows. I think he's aware of the possibility. He's looking for any indication. Giving a weapon back, even Glaive finding one, and the jumping scope from Simple, surely that is never gonna work. And Device is taking a kill in the meantime, there's the follow-up on Dupree, and drop Boomage. Navi's gonna know where both players are. Flamey looking, Glaive waiting for his moment, timing this, there's the peak. They still haven't spotted him. Oh, and it's gonna be Simple who pays. Flamey finds that, but good double peak from Dupree. Because he's smart, I guess. <laughs> okay, here's an uppercut, there goes Perfecto. Question is, can Magus get away? Does he want to get away? It doesn't look like it. He's embracing the madness. Yeah, I think it was the second where he was like, can I? No, I can't get back. And Electronic will push through. The timing is absolutely perfect and we're able to punish it. Smoke in middle, Glaive in front of it. Dupree and Device are ready in case there's some kind of huge pop-up coming out of apartments. They could turn around and probably had a pretty good crossfire. There's the flashbang to set it up. Oh, it's a really good flashbang. Device still gets one long range and he's ready in case they come out. Oh. But not ready for simple. That creek will take him down and Glaive turns for it. 40 seconds. He gets shot in the back by Electronic. And that leaves it all on Sip here for the 15th round. One versus two. He's got his knife out sneaking around the corner into the smoke. There should be no way for him to get through. But he walks right in undetected and only gets the one kill. Simple with the double nine to six at the end of the half. That's an 
I'm, I'm so happy about the fact that it's 9-6. Close, uh, ooh, close call there. Magus will pick up simple, and now they're going to be wrapping around so quick. Electronic, if he goes down, this A-bomb side has no defense left at all. He's going to make it around, and at least he's alive, but Glaive is controlling middle, and they're getting the bomb in as well. Oh, he nearly catches him. If Boomich dies here, then there's no flank from that side, and Glaive will crouch in for the kill. This is a huge problem for Na'Vi. I don't know how they can bring this back. Yeah, simple peaked holes because he heard Flamey fighting. I believe that was, uh, I believe that was Flamey at the boiler stairs, but he thought that that fight was going to distract them a little bit. Unfortunately, he just gets dropped, and there's no retaking this bomb site even in a four on five. That's just so so difficult. This round goes to Astralis. Well, he's playing an off angle here at Arch, and that works perfectly. Another follow up though, and Glaive will just barely survive. Simple. Can't see much behind that smoke, and he's inside of it now. If he misses a shot, Glaive will surely get him. And Glaive is actually sneaking right past him. Oh, this is such a crazy play for Glaive. That smoke fades, and oh, he almost had him. That could have been the kill to open up the bomb site, but Simple is so quick, and he'll take him down. 17 seconds on the board, and how do they cross this? They're trying to smoke him off, but Simple, he wants to help out. He wants to save Electronic with the AWP. He gets a kill. Nine seconds left. No scope, not connecting, and the bomb will go down. Device will just catch him, and now it's a two-on-two. Man, Simple is a hero in this round if they actually win it. I don't know. That was that was massive. He needed one more. This is going to be so difficult to retake. There's no kits either. No kits, no nades. I don't know how Navi gets back into this. Boomich going to lead the way with Flamey behind him. And this is an off angle for Device. They do actually peek it, but he gets a headshot regardless. Dropping Boomich on the ground and Flamey, he's quick to look into the pit. But as you said, no kit. It's going to be all day for him to try and defuse this. And I think that that's pretty much already done. No kit to pick up. He's going to take a creek and just try and run for it. And a parting headshot, but it will still be Astralis to pick up that 13th round. Really tough affair, and again, aggression from Astralis, and again, Navi wants nothing to do with it. They don't want to fight. Oh, Perfecto, Ooh. he's going to turn this corner. Great flashbang. Great flashbang from a teammate. If he'd taken one more step around that yeah. corner, he's done. But now the rotation is in. Boomich and Flamey occupying Arch and Library. Glaive getting absolutely caught there. That's a lot better now. Ooh, simple. Is if they could get a, just one good flashbang off against him, that could actually work out. He's now holding the corner. He's going to have the information, and he just wants to wait it out now. Backup is being called for. He takes the fight as they're throwing grenades. Again, another high-level play coming out from him in bomb plant. Fine. It's a five on two. Let him have it. Don't do this. Don't risk it. Wait for your teammate. You need a solid retake. You need as many players surviving. That was almost sketchy, and if they lost both players, that would have been so dangerous, and Device can still close out this round. If he takes out the flank, it's so doable. Now Molotov actually buying a lot of time on the one side. Oh. Device getting a kill, but Magus, I think, overexposed. I think he thought maybe that uh, Molotov was going to do a lot more than it did, and now it's all on Device. This, sh again, should by all means be impossible for him to do. He's now out in the open, and they clean him up. Simple will take care of it. A triple kill. Seems like they've made the assumption that no one is going to be here, and Boomich might have a huge chance for at least a bit of a surprise kill. Oh, the shadow is showing, but Boomage, he still picks up that kill. Oh, that's awkward. Electronic just gave up the angle. That's an important trade. He hears the footsteps. Zipnik's trying to open things up and half blind. Electronic's got another. Coming alive here on the CT side, and he's going to sink himself back into the safety of the pit. Magus and Glaive at a two on four, but there's only two defenders here at the A bomb site. And Perfecto, by that smoke at Small Pit, is actually blocked off from helping. Molotov, the challenge is in, and he's done a lot of damage there. Electronic, he goes down eventually, but it's not bad at all. Still a three versus two, as long as Perfecto does not go down, it should be working out all right. Smoke off to try and see if they get the bomb plant down, and they need to take a deep breath here, Navi. They have the advantage going into this retake. They should definitely be able to do it. A lot of kits around, and just a single flashbang on Magus. Is he going to go and try and challenge? Yeah, he's actually going to go a little bit aggressive. He can maybe see the shadow. There's the one headshot. Oh my god, and the follow-up as well. And he's ready to flash that side. Glaive taking a bit of a peek, but not finding anyone. And now it's Boomich versus Glaive, a one-on-one. -on -one. And with the time that's already off that bomb, how do you make this happen? Glaive will take him down, and as far as... Boomich is going to feel very, very much alone. Good grenade to clear him from the corner. He has to back off almost immediately. And now Boomich is feeling lonesome for backup. 40 seconds, and they're going to try and see if they can push their way through. He's still up here, and they don't know it at the moment. 35 seconds, and Flamey is showing up as well. They actually have a lot of defense now. There's the line up on Flamey. He gets two big kills, and now back in the side. He's swapping it out. Simple to take them down. Amazing defense. 
good map control for Astralis. Again, this is what you want if, if you're setting up for something uh, elaborate, which looks like they are. Dupree not impressed and still losing the fight. I'm shocked. Navi might be about to be on series point because this is 25 seconds. They're rotating back into a B-bomb site that's still defended by two players. Navi should have this. If they get one opening kill, I don't think they can make it through. Boomish, he's already seeing it. They need to line up for him. He's back for more and sprays almost. Another one down. 10 seconds and hiding in the back is Flamey. A kill oh, that's a big kill. So quick. Device with a shot and they go straight for the plant. I can't believe it. Here we are, another retake, three on three. Three kits, no utility, one flashbang on device. And Simple with that op. He's been so good in this game. Another round he has to deliver. They're waiting for the smoke to clear to allow Perfecto an angle at Coffins. And Simple's being bold. Well, he's looking for it. Just edging his way through, strong shot, and then trying to actually, he's doing all the work. Device is back here with no health and no chance at all. He'll get taken down, and now we will find the bomb immediately. 50 seconds on the clock right now, and this is what it comes down to. Simple's fallen really far back. He's actually lost a fair bit of the map control there. That leaves Perfecto and Electronic inside of a bomb site that is about to get pinched from two different angles, and they need to win the first fight. Device will take down Perfecto, Electronic in the pit. Can he stand tall one last time? He lines them all! Oh, no! A beautiful spray! Electronic!